Hello, I'm Dave and this is Logan. We're not going out for a countryside walk today, so if you're expecting that, sorry, don't worry, we'll be out next week. We're going to be doing something different today. Today, we're at Crufts Dog Show at the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham. And it's quite an emotional day for us because it's Logan's last ever dog show before he retires. So basically today the video is going to be a sort of behind the scenes vlog as to uh, our day here. Now, I'll warn you now, it is very, very noisy. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me above the audio. Right, we've got some exploring to do and I'll tell you a little bit about what we're going to be up to very shortly. So here we are at the very start of our day. Well, not quite. Uh, I left home at what, five o'clock this morning, three hour drive to get here. And the car park was something like 15, 20 minutes walk away from the actual NEC itself. But we're here and uh, Logan's now comfortable in his little crate. And that's gonna be his little nest for the rest of the day. So let me tell you a little bit uh, about Crufts. As I'm sure you are aware, it's the world's biggest dog show. Uh, lasts for four days, something like 19,000 dogs, I believe. And today is the last day, it's a Sunday. And uh, I think it's just hounds and terriers that are being judged today. The show's been going since 1891, started by a chap called Cruft. And uh, originally it was uh, based in London, but I think it's been at the NEC in Birmingham since well, 1991. Now, as far as the show today is concerned, well, it's slightly different to most other dog shows up and down the country in that you have to qualify. Um, and one way of qualifying is by coming in the first three at a special class at a championship show throughout the year. And that's what Logan did. He came second at a class at the Bournemouth Championship show last summer. Um, some dogs can also qualify for life uh, if, if they win other awards. So today, Logan's going to be in a class for Whippets. Uh, they're all going to be males and it's for a class of Whippets that are qualified for Crufts that have also won their Good Citizens Bronze Award, which is a sort of um, obedience uh, um, award. So, this is the, the catalogue, quite beefy. There's something like 400 whippets, I think, here today. And I'll explain how they're judged a little bit later on. But uh, yeah, his name's in the catalogue, Danluke Lord Sugar, very posh. And there are 13 in his class, but it's right at the end of the day, so we've got plenty of time to relax. Anyway, that's enough from me. Let's have a little wander through the show. So the first thing I'm going to do is to let Logan have a little look around before it gets too busy, because he quite likes to have a look at some of the stands that have got dog toys and dog food.
Right, now, I believe we may have some free samples for you, Logan. Logan. There we go. Logan. Logan. What do you think of that? This is quality testing it. Ooh. Well, I think this is getting the thumbs up. Yeah, I don't think he likes it. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. He's just taking a couple more mouthfuls just to make sure. It's very similar to... So what is this? This is, this is what? That's beef, vegetables, beef? lentils and sweet potato. That's it. Beef and vegetables. That's it. Cool, yeah. blimey. Absolutely. Sounds quite tasty. Very tasty. In fact, but, you can actually eat it yourself. It sounds a bit mad. <laughs> that does, yeah. But there's nothing in there that you wouldn't. That's the idea. All right, so what's this called? This is called uh, buttered up. All right, we'll have, we'll have a look at this when we get home, I think. Absolutely. So you've got all your details on screen. Well, just to show how international this show is, there's a, a Logan in his crate there, and the dog next to him in the bench next door is Barney, and Barney's come all the way from Norway, haven't you? Yeah. How old's Barney? How old is he? Three years. He's three years old. Hello. <laughs> Lovely colour. Well, I hope you have a good day, Barney. Now, this folks is Logan's dad called Jig and it's his last show today as well he's retiring and he's having a party yeah and uh, Jig's won I think 21 challenge certificates he's, he's been one of the best uh, um, show dogs in the Whippet world for some years and uh, it's lovely that they're both retiring today but he's a lovely lad well the judging has started as you probably see just behind me here so let me explain a little bit for you because there are so many whippets entered today, they actually have two rings. All the dogs get um, shown in this ring and the bitches in the ring on the other side and each ring has its own judge. So in the ring at the moment, this is Whippet Dog Junior. So all these dogs uh, have to be under the age of uh, 18 months old. So they've all come in and now they're just being set up for the first time and the judge is now having his first look at them. And uh, this is a sort of average size class, I'd say. What are you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, actually no, 15. Some of the classes later on will be almost double the size. So I say this is just a case of the judge their first impression of the dogs. And now the judge is going to ask the dogs to move. Because there are so many, they're going to go in a couple of groups. So this is the first group that go around. Again, this is very much just the initial look at the dogs by the judge as they go around. So that's the first little lot looked at. And now he's going to ask the second lot to go around. So these are, you know, they're, they're only just out of puppy, so these are fairly young dogs still. So some of them will be quite inexperienced. Now, the next phase of the judging is that each dog gets looked at individually by the judge. So they get put up on a, a table and the handler will get the dog standing nicely and now the dog will hopefully stand still and the judge will go up probably ask how old the dog is and have a look at its teeth yeah and then just gently go over handling it feeling it for its 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 muscle and what have you and it's always a bit of a, a nerve-wracking time if you've got a young inexperienced dog hoping they do stand still but at this level they're all very well trained yeah. 
So. Yes, having a, certainly having a good look. The handlers are certainly getting their money's worth today. So now each dog will be asked to move. And initially they'll be asked to do what's known as an up and down. So the judge is looking at the dog going away and then coming towards the judge, looking at the movement and then they go round the ring probably just once and that's it and so now the judge goes on to the next dog and so on and so forth okay so now all the dogs have been seen individually they're all asked to stand for one final time and now the, the judge will go around he might pick out a short list yeah that's what he's doing so he's picking out a few that he wants to have a look at again so that's uh, picked out four so far they do prizes to fifth place so, so he wants to look at those ones again the others now leave the ring and I suspect he may well ask each of these dogs to move one more time probably just a, an up and down and then perhaps a, a little bit more we'll wait and see it can change you know, it's up to each judge has their own methods yeah he just wants to see an, an up and down so he'll do this with each of the dogs so now the judge is going to make his final decision. Taking a long, good look at each dog. So we've got a final shortlist of eight. And he has to pick out five. Again, this is a very nerve-wracking time if you're a handler. And there we go. I think that's the first. Yeah. We've picked out that's the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So that's the winner of the junior class. And providing it doesn't get beaten by any other dogs later on in the show, it will uh, compete with all the other unbeaten dogs right at the end of the day to decide who is the best Whippet dog. And then that best Whippet dog will challenge the best Whippet bitch to decide who is the best Whippet, best in breed. And that dog will then go on to the hound group, which is the bit that's televised later on. Well, I hope all that made sense. Let's have another little wander and I've left Logan in his crate so he can relax a little because it, it will be quite busy now, uh, especially in between all the trade stands. Well, I've still got quite a few hours before Logan goes in the ring, so I say he's taking it nice and easy. Now, I'm hoping that um, he might be handled by Helen, Helen Johnston, who is his breeder and actually owns his dad, Jig because Helen handled Logan at his first ever show, which was back in July 2016, East of England Championship Dog Show. And he came third that day and qualified for Crufts. So it'd be lovely if Helen could handle him again today, sort of bookend his career. Um, the only problem is that Helen will be, um, she's competing with one of her bitches in the bitch ring, it might clash. So if that happens, then he'll have me instead handling him. Now, although today is just hounds and terriers, there are all sorts of breeds at the uh, Discover Dogs area, all sort of split up into their different groups. Let's see if we can find the, uh, the Whippet stand.
Aha, well, I finally found the, uh, the Whippet stand and there's a, a couple of uh, Whippets we've got here. And what's great is it, it allows members of public to come up and see some of these breeds up close. They might be thinking about buying a Whippet, for example, and so they can get a good idea and they can ask some of the, uh, some of the breeders and experts here a bit more about them. <laughs> You're a cutie. Well, folks, this is a coon hound, which I have never seen before. Are they, Amer are they American? They are indeed, I yeah. thought so, yeah. Rodney. Only about 600 in the UK. Goodness me, what a lovely, lovely dog. Yeah, there's two. <laughs> are they always this colour? No, there's different types. You've got black and tan coon hounds. Oh, black and tan. You can get red ticks, which red. are like a Vizsla colour. Yeah, yeah. And then you can get blue ticks, which are like beagle. Tricolour ones, and you can get tree walker ones as well. So these are black and tan. And is this the normal adult size? Yes, yeah, so Rodney's two. Oh right. So, yeah, <laughs> big boy for two. Nelly's four. So the oh, boys okay. and the girls differ yeah. quite differently. Well, it's lovely to see them. Thank you. So as well as the dog showing and trade stands, they also have a lot of displays. And just behind me here, there's a gun dog display going on. So we're going to start off nice and basic. We might decide to walk away from the dog, come back to them and pay. Good. And then we'll walk away again. We might decide to keep the visual cue up if we need to. Good. We want to be working so that the dog starts to work without a visual cue. Because again, when it's cold, you don't always want to stand there with a hand in the air. I'd quite like it to be in my pocket. Ah, can you spot the Whippet? A lovely pair they are as well. And there we go. There's the, uh, the mug. So this is a very experienced team here. We have Max and now we're on to Evie Thompson with Bella. Bella of the dark side. Bella and Evie's birth dog. Well, I uh, mentioned that uh, Jig was having a retirement party, and as you can see, certainly plenty to, to eat and drink to celebrate that occasion here just on the, uh, the side of the side of the ring. It was now time for Logan's class. There were 13 entries, but one didn't turn up. Eight dogs had already been seen by the judge in earlier classes, so they didn't need to initially go round the ring or be re-examined by the judge again. Let's join the action.
Well, folks, it's been quite an emotional few minutes. I've just <laughs> managed to wipe away a few tears. What a fantastic way to go. Logan's last performance in a dog show ring, and he, he gets a fifth prize at Cruss. Oh, he's looking a bit tired now. I've had a long day, but it's going to be a great journey back. I think we're going to stop off at McDonald's. We can have some chicken nuggets as well. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed our little vlog at Crufts. We certainly did. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you next week when we'll be back out into the countryside for a walk. So until then, thanks for watching. And Cheerio. Good boy. Should we have some tea now? Yes, please, Daddy.